Hey, welcome to Eat Like a Boss. I'm a boss, and he's gonna eat like a boss. Today, we picked up some chicken from B Red's Hot Chicken. B Red's is usually in Southern California, but they're doing a pop up here in Oakland. So, we decided to check it out. I got medium spice level here and spicy level here. Just in case this isn't hot enough, I've got help of some of my friends here. This is a Caribbean sauce, Charmin, very sweet, very spicy. Uh, this black label from Lucky Dog is really good. It was made from a fermented mash of peppers, so it's got a little bit of tanginess to it. Uh, this one has a ghost pepper, the Bhut Jalukia, born to hula. This one, Samyang, if you're familiar, they make the really spicy noodles, so I got the sauce for that. This is great with chicken. I've got this one, which is also quite tasty. I think there's habanero in there. And then, of course, Lucky Dog, heats a peach, fantastic. Now, as you know, soda doesn't take away spice. So we've got Coca-Cola for Zeki here and a Vimto for myself. And if either one of us needs to tap out, we've got some banana pudding on deck. Also, we have some more. We got some peri-peri sauce. We got some of the, the B-Red's special spot sauce, some garlic sauce, uh, and some toast. I think we got to start here uh, with the medium spice. Here we go, B-Red's. Um, 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 um. Um, um. Not that spicy. There's no spice at all. Special sauce. Get all up in there with that. Still no spicy. Definitely not spicy. Next, we're gonna try the spicy level right here. I'm just trying to see if they're spicy or spicy. Or if it's just hypey. Cheers. Cheers. Still waiting for the spice to kick in. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's good chicken. It's a lot of hand slaughtered, really good quality, nice crunch to it. Put some garlic sauce on there. You want some garlic sauce? This is, I guess, less of a video about B-Red's chicken. And it's gonna be more about these hot sauces. Let's get started from mild to wild, even though our mildest is quite spicy. Let's start with the peri-peri sauce. You gotta like dip it in, bro. Like get, get some sauce. Like, look at that. It's spicy, so delicious. A bite of that tastes with a bite of this garlic, dude. Amazing. Now, let's get ready for the pain train. It's like you talk to us about our first hot sauce over there. It's called uh, Lucky Dog. Scorpion hot sauce with peaches and roasted garlic. Heats a peach. The suspense is killing me. Cheers. Cheers. Tastes really good. Not that spicy. All right. Next up, we have this sauce. Hot pepper sauce with a tropical twist. This is supposed to be spicy, but I think it's more flavorful than spicy. Seriously, no matter how much I shake the dirty dicks, it doesn't come out. That's what happens when you're dealing with dirty dicks. Cheers. Cheers. No, I don't want to touch our dirty dicks together. Mmm. That's a lot of flavor. Mm-hmm. Mm, a lot of flavor. Less spice, more flavor. No spice at all. But just smoky flavor. I'm glad I got this one. Next up, Samyang. They're known for the extremely spicy noodles. So I'm hoping this is extremely spicy. This is really good on chicken, which is why I'm just gonna put a whole lot. Don't be shy with this. There you go. And then it is. 
Mmm. 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 Instant memories of all the Samyang noodles we've had together. And the sweat running down there. Mm hmm. Pretty average meal for me. Nothing too crazy. What about you, Zeki? This is appetizers. Now, what would you say to all your fans out there in the world, around, across the world, especially Basel Chef? Just come to California, try all this food, and be Red's chicken. All right, next we got Born to Hula hot sauce. We got red habanero pepper mash, orange habanero pepper mash, ancho chili, and the star of the show, smoked ghost chili. I'm excited for this. And I always love when they put mash in there instead of raw because it gives a little fermentation in there. I'm not just putting a tiny little dab. We're heating up in the kitchen. Mmm. Mmm. Smoky flavor. Wow. Still waiting for the spice. Not very spicy. Next up. Lucky Dog Black Label, this is a heatiness special. And in this, he uses a fermented pepper mash. Scorpion peppers, California black mission figs, apples, and garlic. Okay? He puts this as an extra hot. Make sure we load up on this. Because again, I'm still wearing my sweatshirt, so it's not that bad. Mmm, it's so yummy. The fig, I can taste that. The fermentation, the scorpion pepper. How's the spice? The spice is still there. So we're starting to feel some spice, huh? I'm glad we're starting to feel some spice. And now we get to our very last one. As you can see, we can handle a lot of spice, so if you have any recommendations for any extra hot, extra spicy things, we'd love to. <laughs> so next up is the Charman. It's a Caribbean sauce. Pineapple, chilies, Sanfun What kind of chilies though? Just chilies. Just chilies. Okay, this has mangoes, peppers, and spices. What freaking chilies are in here, man? Right here. Right here. All right, let's try it out. Oh. Just, oh, oh, boy. Mm. Not that bad. This one has a <clears throat> has a little bit more heat. I'm starting to hallucinate a little bit. I think I can hear the neighbor's cat. I'm going for another one right here. Mmm. Really tasty. Very sweet. Very spicy. Not that spicy. Not that spicy. Overall, not that spicy. Are my taste buds just burnt? Nothing here really like boom blew me away. What would you say is the spiciest sauce that we have so far? The samyang. Samyang? Or the peri peri. It's not spicy. Uh, so, there's our verdict, B-Reds. Hopefully next time we can get the dare and the double dare. Because your spicy wasn't spicy, homie. There's crunch. It's crunchy. And it's crispy. And crunchy. I think this might be the hottest one, so I'm going to go in for this again. This also might be my favorite. Shout out to Porta Peri 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 and Palo Alto. Mmm. 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 So thank you so much for tuning in to Eat Like a Boss, where myself and Zaki Lal Kalandar Shah <laughs> are enjoying spicy chicken from B Reds and enjoying hot sauces. This episode has been sponsored by our neighbor's cat.